Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to protect a formula in Excel, but allow input. Excel is often used for gathering data through forms. In Excel, it is very easy to design a form that can be filled in by users. When you have a calculated column in the form, it is important that you protect that column so that users who are filling in the form don't accidentally change the formulas. This is critical when the formulas uh, display a result based on input given by the users, and you cannot have this result uh, being uh, tampered with. So at the same time, while you have to lock the columns that contain the formulas, you have to keep other columns uh, editable by the users. So let's see how to do this. In this form, I have uh, a list of names in which uh, the number of days worked and the rate have to be entered. So I, from this, I'm going to calculate the amount. So the first thing I'll do is enter the formula, which is number of days worked into the rate. So now I've created the formula. I can then just copy this down to the rest of the column. Now in this form, I need to keep the amount column locked, but I need to let users uh, edit the number of days worked and the rate. So the first thing I need to do is unlock the cells. By default, all the cells are, have a locked protection. So I will select the cells, right click and go to format cells and under the protection tab, I'll unclick the locked and say OK. So now all these are unlocked and uh, now the locked has uh, locked cells come into play when I protect the sheet. Once I protect the sheet, then the cells that are locked will not allow editing, whereas those that are unlocked will allow editing. So I'm going to go back and lock the amount cells. So I'll select this, right click, go to format cells and say locked and lock these, and lock these alone. Now what I can do is go to the review tab and say protect sheet. Here I don't uh, want a, uh, don't need a password, so I'll just say OK. Now let's see what happens. If I want to enter the number of days worked, I can enter a number here. And then I'll enter the rate and the amount gets displayed. So let's try the next one as well. I can enter this and the amount gets calculated. Now suppose I try and go and edit this one, I get an error message. It says that this is protected and you cannot make changes. So in this way, we have successfully locked the column with the formulas whereas allowed input in the other two columns, that is uh, number of days worked and the rate. So this is how you can protect a formula in Excel but allow input. Please read the appended article for further guidance.